Uh, we have had some problems with the lurkers, but nothing. Lurkers? It's our version of the homeless. In many ways, we have the same problem Earth does. Mm. Earth doesn't have homeless. Excuse me? We don't have the problem. Yes, there are some displaced people here and there. But they've chosen to be in that position. They're either lazy or they're criminal or they're mentally unstable. They can't get a job. EarthGov has promised a job to anyone that wants one. So if someone doesn't have a job, they must not want one. Uh, poverty? Hmm? It's the same. Crime? Yes, there is some, but it's all caused by the mentally unstable. And we've just instituted correctional centers to filter them out at an early age. Hmm. Prejudice? Hmm? No, we're just one happy planet. <laughs> Well, all right, there's the Marzies, but that won't change until they stop fighting the Earth role. And w when exactly did all this happen? When we rewrote the dictionary. Captain, you're a good man. You're a fine soldier, a leader. You understand that sometimes, before you can deal with a problem, you have to redefine it. But you can't deal with the problems by pretending they don't exist. There's no need to embarrass our leaders by pointing out the flaws in our society that they're aware of and dealing with in their own way. Some people just enjoy finding fault with our leaders. They're anarchists, they're troublemakers, or they're simply just unpatriotic, none of which describes you. Before coming here, I was authorized to begin implementing certain changes. From this point on, it will be inappropriate for Earth Force personnel to publicly criticize the government or its decisions. Violations of this will result in immediate fines and penalties. What about civilians? Well, that's not something you need to worry about. Just take down the information and pass it along. We'll take it from there. The new policies also expand the range of investigation to include past associations, families, and friends who might draw others into compromising situations. <clears throat> Is there a problem, Sergeant Allen? Well, yeah. Babylon 5 security is supposed to act according to the rules of due process. When enforcing criminal law, that's correct. But you are now an arm of the political office, and this widens the scope of your authority. You are empowered to examine station publications to ensure that they're ideologically correct. We've revised the rules of evidence to make them more flexible. Isn't all this a little extreme? Yes. Yes, it is. I shouldn't be telling you this yet. But in the coming months, certain individuals will be purged from their government positions on charges of sedition, immoral conduct, even spying for alien governments. With our basic freedoms at stake, no response can be too extreme. There may be some minor and temporary abridgments in the traditionally protected areas of speech and association, but only until this crisis is over. We have been betrayed on nearly every level. And it is going to take the efforts of every loyal citizen to keep Earth safe and ideologically pure. So I'll see you when we finish cleaning up this mess back home. Damage control is a great waste of time, effort, and resources, Mr. Allen. But sooner or later, we'll find whoever is responsible for this outrage. And they'll be punished severely, publicly, and permanently. <laughs>